Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. It is the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day to all of my American subscribers. I appreciate you. Hope you made it a good one. Anywho, the family is out and about for the evening. I get the house to myself. I'm like, you know what, why not? I'm going to do some readings while I have some peace and quiet. So, since I'm not making decisions, I'm just going to let the cards decide who we read next. And... Taurus, you're up. Okay. Set that there. This reading will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. The message given to by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, check your Moon, Rising, or Venus side readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Cross watches are always welcome. Thanks for stopping by if you are one. Okay. Without further ado, one more shuffle. We're going to get Taurus's cards on the table for the month of July. Just going to beat the hell out of the deck for a second. Okay. Taurus, why are you here? Six of Pentacles. Okay. Equal give and take. Okay. Leveling of a playing field. This could be what you want. This could be how you're feeling in the moment. It could be a goal. However it resonates. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. You may feel like they're a little bit needy, clingy, perhaps. Really haven't come into their own yet, maybe. Very dependent on other people, possibly you. What do you think of them? Seven of Cups. You might think they're keeping their options open at this point. Or they have a lot of other options. Take it however it resonates. What do you want from them? Ten of Wands in the reverse. You could feel like they have something they need to get off their chest and you want them to do that. There's a burden here that needs to be released that hasn't. I don't know if it's yours or theirs. Hard to say at this point. How do they feel about you? Ace of Swords in the upright. Hmm. You're like a breath of fresh air. It's probably new ways of communication that they haven't had before. Okay. Right on. What do they think of you? Nine of Cups in the upright. They think you're a pretty, pretty happy person. Nice. Okay. What do they want from you? Four of Cups in the reverse. Well. They might feel like or think that you, you're ignoring what you, what you're, hmm. you're ignoring what they're trying to do for you, what they're trying to offer you, and they could possibly want you to stop doing that, or vice versa. It's the obstacle here, Eight of Pentacles. Some, one of you might work way too much, or the obstacle could be the amount of work that's being put into the relationship. We'll get clarity in a minute. What can be done? Judgment in the reverse. Huh. Okay. 
right on. Oh, I finally got my witch's tarot in the mail. I'm pretty excited. I waited for that for a while. So, it finally arrived last night. I'm super excited. I'll clarify with this today. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Taurus for the month of July, please? I'm going to shuffle these for a minute because I sorted and cleansed them as I was counting them to make sure they were all there. And then I just kind of stacked them together and left them. So let's get the cards good and mixed up. I do that with every deck I get, no matter where I get it from. So always good to inspect your product when you receive it. I'm hearing one more. Someone is setting off fireworks in my neighborhood. This is pretty awesome. Probably hearing about a half hour, 45 minutes. Everybody's going to be doing it. So good thing I got the reading in now. Because <laughs> once that starts, uh, it, no. <laughs> it's going to be impossible to hear. <sighs> All right. What do we need to clarify? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Knight of Pentacles reversed. Oh my. Okay. You could think things are slowing down and stagnant because they're weighing options. Take that however it resonates. All right. Why is Ten of Wands reversed here? Thanks. The lovers. Definite connection. Definitely mutually felt. However. One more on that. They could still need to release a burden of an old connection. If that's your story. Yeah, six of pentacles reversed. The six of pentacles over here could be something you're striving for and it's not something that's happening right now and that's what you want. Makes sense. Why is the Ace of Swords here? You two flipped. You fell out. Oh, three of Swords reversed, Four of Wands, King of Pentacles. You are a breath of fresh air for them. Stability, abundance. They're coming out of a state of heartbreak. Wow. That's deep. Wow, Taurus. That that's amazing. They have the feels and a half for you, my friends. Wow. Why is it not a cups here? Nine of swords reversed. You're happy. You don't have a care in the world. Wow. Okay, now I gotta ask why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here? Justice. Could be a Libra you're dealing with. Huh. Clean, you need a codependent. 
balanced. Fair. One more. Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups. Hmm. I'm Taurus, I'm feeling like you almost feel like you're being manipulated. Like they present themselves to be extremely needy in order to control you. If that makes any sense. Huh. That's weird. Okay. Why the Knight of Pentacles reversed? I know I'm doing this in a weird order tonight. Whoa. Hi. Ten of Wands. Sun reversed. Where that ten of wands reverse comes in. <sighs> Unacknowledged connection with the sun reversed. A burden that needs to be laid down. Weighing options, stagnant energy. They think the world of you, Taurus. I do not know why you would think this. Huh. Okay. Why is the Four of Cups reversed here? King of Wands reversed. One more. Knight of Cups falls out reversed. Okay, they might want you to ease up a little bit. Feeling a little anti confrontational energy. Some of you may be focusing on a past relationship or connection, and it's kind of brought its vibes into this one, like they're suspect. Hmm. Okay. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Two of Cups. One more. Ace of Wands, obstacle, challenge, the amount of work being put in, the connection, passion. Hmm. That fiery passion in a relationship. One more. Okay. You want to come out? Two of swords. Someone's being blinded. Someone's being blinded by a past connection. Someone's putting in all the work. Someone may feel like they're putting in all the work. All right, what needs to be done is judgment in the reverse. Why is judgment reversed here? Man. Acceptance of a situation. One more. Five of Wands. One more.
Nine of Pentacles in the upright. Okay. It was flipped up over here. So. Whoever this applies to in this scenario, something has to die before something can resurrect. That's how that works. It's, it's the order in which you do things. Something wasn't allowed to die, cycle wasn't allowed to close. At least not completely. It's the whole leaving your baggage behind. Or taking it with you. Someone took baggage with them. And I'm not talking like physical. I'm not talking anything. Like, I'm, I'm talking emotional and mental. It's that lingering fear because the last one went to crap. This one's going to go to crap too. So you're looking for red flags at this point that are not there. They think the world of you. They do. I, I don't know what the issue is. Except it could potentially be in your own head. So. What they're saying to do, accept the fate of a situation, attain your independence from it, and face the fear involved in it. One more. One more. <clears throat> Full reversed. You know, one is never just one. Oh, please, not taking 20. Nine of Cups. Allow them to fill your cups, fill their cups with positive things, not negative ones. They see you as an extremely happy person. So you need to stop being so negative if you're the one being negative. Cross watcher, if this is the one it's applying to, maybe you're the one who needs to stop being so negative. There's just leftover energy pushing into this relationship. That's how I'm seeing this right now. And the cycle. And don't jump until you end it. All right, additional advice, whatever comes out wrong deck. I'm going to leave that there for right now. See, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm distracted by the fireworks. Three of Pentacles. Temperance in the reverse. Do not attempt to lay a foundation until the energies are flowing properly between you. Talked about this in a, a couple readings ago. I'm not sure what reading it was because they all just kind of run together for me. This is the card that talks about how you relate to each other. Until you can relate to each other in a positive manner, don't try to lay a foundation down. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, Seven of Wands in the upright. Okay. You cannot expect a new seed to grow. If you still have internal struggles from the old one. Because either you overwater or you underwater the plant. And it can swing either way. You, you hear that popping off out there? You hear it? I love my neighborhood. I'm going to wrap this up so they can have their fun and I can actually concentrate next time I sit down to do this. Okay. Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. In order to move forward, you need to communicate your needs, have an honest conversation, and be willing to put the work in. And that's both of you. One more set, and then we're going to call it a July. Five of Pentacles in the upright, Page of Swords in the upright. Communicate what you need to communicate before one of you ends up left out in the cold. Ever heard too little too late? All right. 
Taurus, my friends, thank you so much for stopping by. I apologize for the little bit of a delay. It's been a hectic couple of weeks. I enjoy you. I really do. I love you guys. Okay, we'll catch you for the work week top and bottom Sunday night or Monday morning. And hopefully, maybe, we'll see how it goes. Um, a couple special readings throughout the month. But until then, I will catch you guys sometime before the 1st of August for your August reading. Love you to bits! Bye for now. It didn't shut off. Catch you later.